Many of you celebrated prom this week. From East Haven to North Brantford, Morgan showed off her approved dress for the Shelton High School prom, while some Avengers took over the North Brantford one. Steph graduated from CCSU, as did twins Morgan and Taylor. A few of you spotted the vice president on his way to speak to graduates at Yale and the president addressing the Coast Guard Academy. The younger generation was busy fishing, at least Aiden and Emily were. AJ snoozed through his baptism while Lucas soaked up the sun. Sophie was in a dance competition and Candace and Owen spent the day at the park. And check out these nursery schoolers from Southport who raised $320 from a bake sale for the Beardsley Zoo. It was rain or shine for this Shelton soccer team and the Connecticut Impact 10 and under team celebrated a championship win and the New Haven Boys and Girls Club celebrated a win of their own. And a big congrats to these North Brantford girls who won first place at the Girls Science Olympics in Milford. These girls ran in the Matt's Mission 5K while Team Carol walked for pancreatic cancer in Milford. You gave us a glimpse of the Westover air show and of the fog from 2,000 feet up. And down on the ground, you also caught the fog at a creek and in Guilford and in Milford. But it wasn't all fog and no flowers, as Mickey proved. Maya soaked up the sun, Buddy got ready for a barbecue, and this pup cooled off in a stream. Romeo got a summer dew, Sadie Bell went for a walk, and Harley celebrated his five-month birthday. Canines weren't the only ones out and about. A Luna moth was spotted in New London, some geese in Griswold, and a bobcat in Monroe. And check out this bird in Cheshire snacking on an orange. Tess and Tucker slept the day away, but not this whale who gave a kiss to Jaden. And we want to end with a big congrats to Samuel Muhammad, who was sworn in as a new fire lieutenant in Bridgeport. Your sister Latifa is very proud of you. Keep those photos coming. Send them through the Report It app or by emailing reportit at WTNH.com.